Hi there, and welcome to my computer again. I'm doing another platonic solid. This is the octahedron, the eight-sided thing. Every side is equilateral triangle, and as you can see, it's based around a square. So we're going to use the square when we are doing the design. So we're going to start with to create a sketch. And a polygon. Circumscribe polygon. Of course, we're going to do the square first, so let's do it like that. For safety reasons, we are locking it down, so we know where it is. We're going to start with line from this corner. This is the geometry I'm going to use later to uh, make the rest of the dimension, so it gets a bit... Uh, this is going to be this one line, the same length as one of the sides, and we are going to coincident it with the midpoint, like that. So, this is what I'm going to use later to make the rest of the geometry. And the dimensions. You can dimension it quite easily. You can dimension it on a side, which of course is the side of a square, so that's any of the edges, or if you want to dimension it from vertex to vertex or point to point, from this point to this point. As you can see, you can see the square here, so that dimension is quite easily. It's just from here to here, or any way you want. To do. But we are not going to do that. We can do a strange dimension, which is from flat side to flat side. Let's go home. And I'm going to show you my thing I want to do. I want to dimension it from this flat side to the perpendicular one. This. In this case, the 147 millimeters. So this is a bit odd way of doing it. So if you don't want to do it, just dimension the side and then skip the things I'm doing for the next minute or two. Now we're going to construct the geometry we need to do the dimension. We're going to start with a line from this corner, yeah, basically any corner, to the midpoint. We're going to make the construction because I like construction geometry. The second thing, we're going to search up the midpoint, make a line, go straight up, make sure we get the perpendicular restraint there. We're going to make that a uh, construction. Now we're going to make it equal. This line is going to be equal to the distance from the point to the center point, like that. Now we're going to make a line, make sure it snaps to the corner, and up to here. Also construction geometry, and now we're doing the dimension line, because we're going from this point to, to this, and we are looking for a 90 degree constraint, a perpendicular constraint, there we are. Also going to make it construction. Now we're going to dimension. So the dimension is this line which we are on. And of course it jumps around. Right click, choose aligned. And now we can dimension it. So we're going to do it 125 millimeters. So now we have done all we can do with sketch. So this is our dimension we're locking into from flat side to flat side. Now we're going to do a next sketch. And I want to do that sketch on this line here. But the problem is I have no uh, no construction plane in that dimension, so we're going to construct a plane at angle. We're going to choose this line, and of course we're going to turn it 90 degrees around, like that. Now we're going to create a sketch on this side. Now we need some geometry, so we're going to project. Notice we're going to need this point, we want the midpoint, and this point, and we are done. We're going to start with a circle, make sure it is a construction circle from the point or of the square and to here. We saw the circles has the same radius as the length of the side. And now we're going to do a line from anywhere up here in the circle and then down to the circle down here. But that went bad. There are two circles, two lines I mean. From here, that's one line down to here somewhere. We're going to constrain it vertically. And then we're going to go a coincident between the midpoint and our line. So everything is gone constrained here. So it's good. We're going to finish the sketch. And now we're going to make the body. We're going to create and choose a, a loft. We are going from this point up to here. We're going to repeat loft from here to here. And it will be joined. And there is octahedron. 
So you need two sketches and a plane in this case uh, and two lofts and you have it and now we can check the dimension. So we're going to turn off the sketches and sketches. So we're going to check from one flat side to the other flat side and it's 125 millimeters which we did in our first sketch. We can go back and have a look. If we change this to 67.5, we finish everything and we check the dimension to see everything is working from this flat side to this flat side, 67.5. So I'm pleased. Hope you enjoyed it and it's useful for you. See you around. Bye.